Hello and welcome back to Rick's Flicks. Good to see you again. Today we're back at Universal Studios, but this time for the celebration of Harry Potter days. And the celebration is starting right now. So I want to mention, as you enter the park right by the gates, you want to make sure you grab your Harry Potter Celebration Day brochures to make sure you know all the times for all the activities. Okay, so we are actually in the park early today for early park admissions. I don't think they're having any the Harry Potter exhibits open till around 9. So I want to show you something real fast. We just got some news about Universal Studios. I hope it's true. So the news is, over at Universal Studios Hollywood, they're going to have a new live action show and it's going to be Jurassic World and as you recall Terminator shut down here at Universal Orlando and they said it's going to be for a live action show and I'm betting we're going to get Jurassic World live action show here too. Okay now with that little piece of news out of the way since we are here a little early let's head straight over to Gringotts. The line should be short early park admissions. Let's do it. Okay so here we are the grand reveal for Diagon Alley, Harry Potter days. I'm very interested to see what the wait time is going to be for early park admissions for this ride. We haven't been on this in a while, so I'm very excited, Nick. Yeah, me too. All right. Should be fun. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go it. check it out. Okay, so standby is only 10 minutes. Nikki, do you want to do standby or single rider? Standby. Standby it is. And now the part I hate, dealing with lockers. But it is pretty cool. We have a lot of bow battens walking around today. So there we go. That's our... There goes the dragon. <laughs> but anyway, so that was our first Harry Potter activity of the day, Nick. Yes. Normally we just go through single rider on that ride. Yeah. But it was nice today to go through the actual queue and see some of the queue theme. And that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it got me pumped for, you know, the whole weekend. Yeah. It's a great way to start it. It is. Now, as far as the ride is concerned, for those of you who haven't been on the ride, it's kind of like a combination of a roller coaster and a 3D movie ride. Yes. So it has a big drop. It has a shootout. And like in between, it has like spinning and different scenes, 3D scenes of movies. Things. Yeah, it's really entertaining. So to start with, it's probably like a 45 degree drop at least, and then just release the cart and you go shooting down. That's a good sensation of losing your stomach there. Exactly. And then later on, there's some spinning moves. And then at the very end, when they have the drag and the dragon kind of connects to your cart, and that's where the shootout is. Now the shootout isn't as fast as say like uh, the mummy ride or like rock and roller coaster at Disney, but it is still pretty cool. It's a very cool ride. Yeah, absolutely. I really like that ride a yeah. lot. Okay, it's nine o'clock. The Harry Potter exhibit should be open. What's the best way to get there? Let's apparate. Hop on my back, Nick. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're apparating. Woo! Okay, as we were apparating over to the Harry Potter exhibits, Something caught my eye over here in San Francisco. Let's go check out this Fast and the Furious store. They've made some changes. So they've added some new cars out here outside of the Fast and the Furious store. Looks like they added a Toyota. They got a, a Dodge over here. And the one I really liked, this cool, awesome red Corvette. So things are moving right along here. Starting to add up some more of the props. Can't wait. Okay, with that little side detour out of the way, back to operating to the exhibits. Okay, we made it. We <laughs> operated to the first exhibit. I think maybe let's go. Let's go do the sorting hat first, Nikki. We're a little dizzy. <laughs> let's go try the sorting hat. What do you think? Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. You can see the line for the first exhibit area is pretty big, pretty long. Hopefully the sorting hat's not too bad. Okay, so the line for the sorting hat was pretty long. So we're switching plans. We're gonna go to the exhibit in Soundstage 21. So just like last year, the wait to get in the uh, second. Harry Potter Expo, the Soundstage 21, is way easier and way quicker. So it was just a walk-in to get into this exhibit, while the other one, a way, way longer wait to get in. Oh, so here we have a little baby Harry. And his little crib mobile is owls. Also, the baby actually has the letter to the Dursleys. The one when they drop them off at the Dursleys. So in this display, we have the 422nd Quidditch World Cup program. And then what is Nikki wearing? My World Cup t-shirt. She's wearing the same t-shirt. And then what are those, Nick? Omnoculars. Help you see the Quidditch game better? Yes. Or match, I should say. Yes. 
Okay, again this year they have the Fantastic Beast VR experience. I can show you what's happening with some of the VR stuff with this big screen right here. And again this year they have the Harry Potter trivia presented by Pottermore. I'd like to have Nikki on that. She'd do pretty well. She knows her Harry Potter. And here's some of the chalk art, the sidewalk art that they're going to be doing today. This one happens to be inside the studio, but there will be some outside as well. We'll show you some of that too. Okay, so this is really cool, Nikki. This is the, um, what was the professor who turned himself into the chair? And then Slughorn. He, Slughorn, okay. Yes. Where we have his robe and the, uh, the chair that he turned himself into here. Let's yeah. go check it out. My name is Jeff. I got my partner Seth over here. And we are fortunate enough to be representing the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. Yeah. Now, this year they have brought a lot of practical effects that you saw in the movies. Now, some of these things you thought might have been a visual effect or something created by a computer or CGI. But in fact, it was an actual physical prop that was designed to do the effect, such as this chair. Now, yell out the name whose chair this is. Slughorn. Absolutely, Slughorn. And we need to make some magic come alive. This is where I need your help. If you have a wand, I need you to bring out your wand. We're going to point it at the chair, and we are going to say the spell, Revealio. Here we go. One, two, three. Revealio. <laughs> so how cool was that, Nikki? It was actually a practical effect. I was hoping you were going to volunteer. I'm not a Hufflepuff. He was looking for a Hufflepuff. I mean, you're volunteering for Fear Factor and you know all type of surveys and stuff. I thought you would have done that too. Thank you. Uh, right not that one. So here's a little area where you can test a new Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Mystery. So these people are getting in line to do a little game demo of this new Harry Potter game. So in here we have the actual wardrobe from the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I think we're going to come in here and check some of it out. Here we go. We're doing it. <laughs> Seriously, we're mainly focusing on like the costume design for the stage oh. production, which okay. is really fun. So the costumes that you're going to see here are actually the original. So the actors were on stage in the London production of The Cursed Child. So we have Hermione, we have Ron, and Harry's in the back corner. While we're in here for The Cursed Child, I just got to say, looks a little bit like Freddy Krueger. But it's not Freddy Krueger. It's actually Ron in the play. So oh, what are these glasses? Uh, these are Harry's glasses. And then you've got Ron and Hermione's wands. And then down on the bottom are Albus and Scorpius's wands. So right here, we have Harry's costume. So there's the actor who plays him in the play. And then over here to the left, this Harry's little costume. Harry's quite the sharp dressed man as an adult. And then on the walls, we actually have scenes of the play. So essentially, um, it's coming to New York from London, and it's um, a lottery system for the tickets. Wow. So if you go to harrypottertheplay.com, you enter in. Once your number is picked, they'll send you a, a confirmation, and then you use that confirmation code to like Ticketmaster to get your tickets. Well, that's huge to have that coming to America. Yes. Let's go look at some of the merchandise. Yes, that's the official design so for the, this year. The official 2018 logo for celebration days right this one right here is 27.95 right, the baseball t-shirt 27.95 we'll be canvas backpack for 29.95 oh and look at the uh the tumblers yeah how much are the tumblers 26.95 all with the 2018 logo yeah, so what Nikki does is she grabs these keychains and she turns them into Christmas ornaments because they're way cheaper than actually getting a Christmas ornament. The lanyard is ten ninety five. Yeah. And it's two sided, so it's got this side and then it's got the logo on the other side. Yeah, and Nikki gets this every year. Yeah. So here's the 
after you pick out your merchandise, here's the actual line you have to get in to purchase it. So that was not the complete line for the merchandise checkout. That was stage two of checkout. Stage one is actually right over here. This is the first, this is actually the end of the line for checkout for merchandise. All through there. And then you come over here and then you continue on to check out. Wow. So the two things we wanted, actually Nikki wanted, is she wanted the 2018 Celebration keychain to make as an ornament and she wanted the 2018 lanyard. So we ditched that super long line over at the expo and we came in here to the store that is outside the Gringotts ride. No waiting, walked right up and purchased. So it just depends on some of the items you want. They have the 2018 t-shirt in here, they have the 2018 tumblers, uh, and they have the Harry Potter Celebration 2018 keychains and lanyards. Okay, it's time for another one of Rick's quick food reviews. This time, the Leaky Cauldron. That's in London. So, about the Leaky Cauldron. Normally, we wouldn't eat here. We're doing this for the vlog. I just feel like there's a lot better food elsewhere in the park. But since this is a Harry Potter Center vlog, I thought it's best that we eat at the Leaky Cauldron and get a more English style lunch. Normally, we'd go with like the chicken sandwich, but instead, Nikki went with the. I think it's like a shepherd's pie. Um, it was really good. Um, different than what I normally get, but I enjoyed it. Would you order it again? Probably not. But, um, I mean, I enjoyed it for at least the atmosphere and, um, you know, eating something English for yes. once. Exactly, and that's, if you're going to eat at the Leaky Cauldron, it's mainly going to be for the atmosphere to be able to eat in a Harry Potter setting. Yeah. You know, you're not really going for the food. I would say, but you're I don't going know. I mean, I think that you know, it's a it's a really heavy lunch for us. Um, yeah. It's not typical for us, but I mean, it was it was kind of cool to experience what an English type of um, meal, um, you know, at Hogwarts would be like. So That's true. I, I That's did true. enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, so now for my lunch, I decided to go with the English style bangers and mash, which is basically sausage and mashed potatoes. And it was okay. I mean, the mashed potatoes and gravy was pretty good. Um, the vegetables were good. I actually ate my vegetables, believe it or not. And then the sausage, the bangers, they were just okay. I didn't even finish the second one. Uh, I ate about one and a half. There was two of them, ate about one and a half. For me, it's, I probably will not do that again. But if you're, I mean, if, especially if you're a big Harry Potter fan, you want to do a Harry Potter launch. You want to eat at the Leaky Cauldron. You want to have that full immersive experience. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. And so our lunch, uh, Nikki bought a water. I got a sweet tea to go along with the entrees. Came after our, our pass order discount, $31. Okay, so the good news is that was not a two hour wait to get in here. Maybe at worst it was an hour. I don't even think it was an hour, but so happy it wasn't two hours. We have several of the costumes from the movies, so we can photograph, but we are not allowed to touch. So that's actually Mina and Lena over there right now, right Nick? Yes. Okay, so Mina Lima is the um, artistry that does all of the extras. Um, all in, the printing? Yes, all the print materials, all of the um, posters that you see in the movies. The envelopes, um, the newsletters, yes. the posters, anything that's written on paper yes. is done by this company, right? Absolutely. That's, that's exactly right. Oh my gosh, they even have a picture of the blind pig. <gasps> Um, these are the official Celebration of Harry Potter posters. Um, this is 2018 and this is 2017. They're both fantastic. Um, they run for about $175 a piece. Um, this one's 150 but they have the official seal on the back. So here's kind of cool, like, you know, a less expensive version, but um, there's postcards for 20 and there's a whole series of different sets of postcards. So here's the muggle wall that you can sign or write little messages telling what Harry Potter meant to you. So here's Nikki getting her free poster and then coming up and signing the wall. 
So today was just day one. We are going to come back tomorrow for some more of the events. But until then, hello and welcome to day two of Harry Potter celebration. Now, we hadn't planned on this, but Nikki had some requests on Facebook to do some Harry Potter rocks. So she did some overnight and we're gonna hide them today. Let's check them out. So here they are. Now we're not gonna show the whole process this time. We just wanna show you the rocks. We've got a Hermione. We have a Hogwarts castle. Then we have a Hogwarts castle with an owl post, right? Yes. And this one is the Weasley's Little Toy Shop. Fun shop, right? Weasley's Wizard Weasley. Yeah. Okay, so the reason why we returned for a second day, the main reason is we want to see the new castle projection show over at Hogsmeade or at Hogwarts Castle. And the second reason is we really want to see, they have a costume show of all the people who dressed up for the, the ceremonies today and all the activities, just walking around in cosplay. They're going to have that over at the amphitheater. We want to check that out. And then we'll just see what else we see today. So over here on IOA side, at the Toon Lagoon Amphitheater, there are five events that are related to Harry Potter. Discover the special effects secrets with John Richardson, the Mina Lima graphic design of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, Harry Potter the Exhibition, the magic of costumes in Harry Potter, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, explore Harry Potter, Hogwarts, the sound and image, the magic behind the music, the journey to construct a complete score to a live picture. Now, these events are open to the general public. The special vacation package people, they just get premium seating. So even if you're a normal park guest, you can come see these events as well. Okay, since we are over here at IOA, let's just check on the progress of the new replacement ride for Dragon Challenge. So let's head into Hogsmeade. Yikes, it's gonna be scary. Wow, it is really crowded. I'm normally here first thing in the morning, so I'm not used to this afternoon crowd. So I have a feeling it's going to be extremely packed for the Castle Projection Show tonight. So the update on Dragon Challenge is, it's going to be a few years. Not much to see right now. However, I am really truly excited to see the new ride they bring here. Although, if you look through this little archway, you can see the old castle remains. I think they're going to keep that as part of the queue for the new ride. Okay, and now we're heading back over to studios to catch the costume showcase. Another one of our must-dos for this event. Just back and forth, back and forth. We are going to get some exercise this evening. So what are you doing with this last rock, Nikki? For the very last one, for people who didn't want to miss the shows over on the US side, that we would do a Find Me First. So it's this one. It's the Galaxy Castle one that we're going to do that one. So whoever so finds you right now is going to get that rock. Yeah, so i got to take a picture, post it on okay. UO Rocks, and then the first time he gets it. Okay. There it is. She found Nikki first, so she gets the rock. She found you first. Yes. Let me get your name. Shoot. Caitlin. So Caitlin found the rock, or found me at the Showcase Plaza, so she got the rock. Good job, Caitlin. Judges, are you ready? Good, good. Audience, are you ready? <laughs> All right, I'm going to get over here. Let's get this costume party started. <laughs>
Carter 2018 Costume Showcase. Okay, we're making our way over to the castle show after leaving the costume contest. What do you think, Nick? Oh my gosh, it was incredible. New Scamander was stinking adorable. Those were the, the two finalists were the ones I was hoping for, the four founders and New Scamander, but he was even acting like it. <laughs> like, I mean, like he didn't break character the entire time. It was perfect. Yeah, totally. He I think it. he was my favorite too. I thought he looked yeah. amazing as new. Yes, so. exactly. Okay, so let's get over to that castle projection show right now. And without further ado, enjoy the show. Good evening. I'm the Hogwarts sorting parents. There's nothing I can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart. You might belong in Hufflepuff, where they are just loyal. In wise old Ravenclaw, if you've already learned, or perhaps in Slytherin, as Calvert is any means to achieve their ends. So, just try me on, and I will tell you where you ought to be. going to do it today from the celebration of Harry Potter. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks and now it's time to relax. Yeah.